step into the time machine with me. We're going to talk about something that happened way back in 2017 that ended up powering a lot of the way big corporations today are thinking about prepping their data for AI. So there's an AI tie in at the end here. So in 2017, Netflix had a problem. They had so many movies and shows and people were watching them so much that their traditional table structures and their traditional database were breaking down. At the time, databases work a lot like I think most me people's mental models of databases operate. So just to explain that in detail, they have rows, they have tables. You look up the row, you look up the table. It sits on a file somewhere, it sits on a file on a server somewhere, and there you go, right? Now, those kinds of databases do match what we imagine, but they have problems at scale. You cannot uh, update them without shutting down the database. Imagine adding a column and having to shut down the entire database. It's a problem. Uh, they don't have versioning, so you can't go back in time and see what the data was like before. They don't have the ability to overwrite or edit necessarily in the same way. They don't have, they have performance issues because you have to look across the entire database. There's not really a way to do it only partially. I could go on. There's a lot of issues. Some of them include storage. And Netflix realized they needed to innovate. They needed to fix. They needed to make something that actually served their needs in 2017. And so what they came up with was what we now know as Iceberg. And they developed it in-house at Netflix in order to serve TVs and movies and shows effectively. So all of us streaming contributed to innovation. Isn't it's a nice feeling, right? Uh, and what they did was they converted the traditional model of the database and they moved it to the cloud. And so it has um, a core file storage motion in the cloud. It like would sit in Amazon S3 as an example. Uh, Netflix would use AWS quite famously. And it, that meant it was infinitely extensible. It didn't have to sit in just sort of a traditional compute limitation. It also meant that you could design it differently than a traditional database. So it, you could update it on the go. It had metadata that you could query. It did not have downtime if you dropped a column. You could use lazy loading on the database, which meant that you could pull only the part that you cared about at the time. You didn't have to pull the whole thing, which made it more performant. There were a lot of advantages to Iceberg that essentially added up to big data works better here. Now, Netflix could have kept that. They could have said, no, 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 this is ours. Like, we don't want to share. And our model of competition in tech suggests that they would, but our model is bad because big tech companies both compete and cooperate. And in this case, tools like this that are the foundational elements of the internet or that power our apps tend to be open sourced more often than not. And so Netflix open sourced it. They actually handed it over to the Apache Software Foundation, which is the software foundation for projects like this. They've been running since 1999. And by the time 2021 rolled around, this little project that started at Netflix had been incubated by Apache and became a top level project at Apache, which means that it uh, was considered stable. It was maintained by a rich community of developers, et cetera. Now you might wonder why, what, what possible gain would Netflix have to do this other than being nice? And Netflix isn't necessarily known for that. I can think of one. If you are going to have a core part of your infrastructure that you have to maintain over time, it would be smarter if you could build it in such a way that you knew that you could get talent in the door to maintain it and upgrade it and improve it over time. Now you could do that by training laboriously everyone who comes into your company on your special proprietary way of doing things. But because this is a foundational part of the internet, it makes more sense to just open source it. Your competitive advantage is still your shows. It's not your database. And allow people who have learned it elsewhere to come to Netflix and practice their craft. It's a talent advantage. Moving back, Apache makes this a top level project. You're still wondering where the AI connection is. Well, it turns out they made it a top level project just before ChatGPT exploded like a meteor on the scene. And this was a perfect open source solution to major data lakes, which means that when all of these companies around the world began to ask themselves, how do we collect our data and get it into a state where we can actually 
build AI models against it, build AI models on top of it, it was right there. And so just like that, it began to be adopted all over the industry. Databricks has it, Snowflakes has it, AWS has it, Azure has it. And all of these cloud providers and uh, data providers have figured out that they can use this open source tool developed by Netflix to help us with our scrolling and our movie watching to enable large scale data lakes that companies around the world can leverage for AI deployments. And I think that's a really cool story. And if you look at that and you say, wow, that's, that's kind of neat. There are so many stories like that that have enabled the world we have today, and they're not always viciously competitive. Like this one actually exemplifies cooperation. Even after Netflix turned over the software to Apache, it took the work of hundreds of developers, thousands of developers to mature the open source software so it was actually something that was stable enough for large scale deployments at these companies. That's a big deal. The developer community is remarkably cooperative and I don't think we talk about it enough. And I wanted to do a story that actually shows how that kind of cooperation unlocks capabilities that we are building against to this day. So there you go, that's the story of Iceberg and how it helped power the future of AI through cooperation. Cheers.